Goldilocks and the Three Bears There was once a family of three bears, a big daddy bear, a middle-sized mummy bear and a teeny weeny baby bear. They lived in a little house on the edge of a wood. One day, Daddy Bear had made some porridge for the bear's breakfast. It was too hot to eat straight away, so they decided to go for a little walk in the woods. A little girl was also out for a walk in the woods that morning. She had golden hair that fell in long curls down her back, and her friends called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks was a curious little girl, and when she came across the pretty little house, she couldn't help wondering who lived there. She knocked on the front door, but as she did so, the door began to open. It was unlocked. So Goldilocks pushed the door a little further and slipped inside. The door opened straight into the three bears' kitchen. Goldilocks immediately spotted the three bowls of porridge sitting on the kitchen table. Mmm, she thought to herself licking her lips and rubbing her tummy. Goldilocks hadn't had any breakfast yet that morning and she was hungry. She went straight to the big bowl of porridge, stuck the spoon in and had a taste. Ouch! she cried, burning her tongue. This porridge is too hot! So she tried the middle-sized bowl of porridge. Yuck! she said, wrinkling up her nose. This porridge is too cold! Then she saw the small bowl of porridge and tasted it. Mmm, said Goldilocks happily. This porridge tastes just right. And she ate it all up. Goldilocks decided to explore the house a little further. She went into the living room and saw three chairs. There was a big chair, a middle-sized chair and a small chair. She was feeling a bit full and sleepy after eating the porridge, so decided to have a little rest and sat down in the big chair. This chair is too big, she shouted as she stood up again. So Goldilocks sat down in the middle-sized chair. Oh dear, this chair is too big too, she exclaimed. So she moved on to the small chair. Ah, she sighed. This chair is just right. But just as she was getting herself comfortable, the small chair broke into little pieces and Goldilocks landed with a thud on the floor. By now, Goldilocks was feeling very tired. So she trudged slowly up the stairs, looking for a place to lie down. She soon came to a bedroom with three beds in it. She lay down on the big bed, but sprang back up immediately. Oh, this bed is too hard, she said. So Goldilocks decided to try the middle-sized bed. But when she lay on it, she sank right into the mattress. This bed is far too soft, she exclaimed. Then she saw the little bed in the corner of the room and lay down. It was so comfortable that Goldilocks crawled underneath the covers. This bed is just right, she yawned to herself, and soon she was fast asleep. Not long afterwards, the three bears returned from their morning walk. They saw that the front door of their little house lay open, and they crept cautiously inside. Well, what a surprise they got! when they saw the mess lying on their kitchen table. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Daddy Bear, looking at the big bowl of porridge with the spoon sticking out. Someone's been eating my porridge, exclaimed Mummy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Baby Bear, and they've eaten it all up. The three bears went into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mummy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, wailed Baby Bear, and it's broken into little pieces. The three bears decided to explore some more 
and set off up the staircase that led to the bedroom. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, shouted Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mummy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear, and she's still there. He pointed to Goldilocks, who was lying snoring in the little bed. The three bears walked over to the bed and peered at the little girl. Suddenly Goldilocks woke up with a start and upon seeing the three bears, she leapt from the bed and ran out of the room, down the stairs, through the little house and out of the front door. She didn't stop running until she was out of the woods and she never ever came back to the house of the three bears again.